What up, what up, Wimbush here. And if you ever wanted to get like a perfect circle or other shapes and spline form inside of Unreal Engine, it's really simple to do. And I'm going to show you two ways of how we can activate it. And to get started, we're going to go into the top left hand corner where we see selection mode. We're going to left click on this and then we're going to come down here to where it says modeling. Now, once we have modeling mode activated, we want to come down here to where it says draw spline. We just want to click on this once. And then inside of our viewport, I'm just going to click on it once. I'm not going to draw anything out. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom and just click on accept. Now inside of our outliner on the right hand side, we should see spline actor. So I'm just going to come down here to location. I'm just going to zero it out. And now we're just going to have the axes right here in direct center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. And then down here towards the middle, we should see spline generation panel. Now if I left click on this, let me pull this up. We're going to have this spline generator in which we're going to have several shapes in which let's actually rotate this around. So right here, I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees inside of my details panel like so. So now we see that we have a circle here. We have an arc shape. We have a square. We have an ellipse. We have a rectangle and then we have a straight line. So let's go back over to circle and down here under shape parameters, you can see that we can extend it out with the number of points, right? So let's say if we wanted to do nine points just to make this a little bit more circular to give us some more vertices in there, you could control the radius as well. And then down here where it says generate options, this is going to be for like if you actually drew your spline in here and if you wanted this to happen like before or after, you can actually add that shape to your spline that you drew out. But once you're happy with it, we're just going to click off. Then I'm going to exit this out. And now we have a perfect spline circle inside of our viewport. And so it's as simple as that. You just put a little spline point in there, right click, go spline generator, and you're off to the races. Now let's say that you're using a motion design module. I'll show you how you can activate it in there as well. It's pretty similar. So back inside of Unreal Engine, I'm going to come back up here to the left hand side where we have selection mode. And I do have motion design activated. So I'm going to left click on this. And then down here, we have this category called actors. So I'm going to left click on this. And right here where you see spline actor, I'm just going to double click on it. And you're going to see that we're going to have a straight line inside of our viewport, right? So I'm going to take one of these points and I'm just going to right click on it. And again, we're going to have spline generation panel. So now I'm going to left click on this and then I could come down here again. So now we have this spline generator. We could pick the circle. It's always going to have it flat, right? But you're just going to always have to rotate it to like 90 degrees, somewhere around there. And now we have the same exact parameters as we had before. But the only difference is now we have this straight line spline in here on top of our circle. So remember before where I said generate options, how we could have like for the shape add mode, we could have a pinned after. Now this is what happens if we put it before. So now it's going to pop over to the other point. Insert after you can see the line over here kind of move. And before same thing, I'm not really sure what those last two do if I'm going to be perfectly honest. But if I come to a pinned after, it's going to put it onto the second point right here. And then that's going to be it. So like if you didn't want to have these lines in here like this, you can just come over, select this point, hit delete. And now you just have a circle within your scene. So it's as simple as that. I know I had several people ask me about inserting splines directly inside of Unreal Engine. But before, a lot of people only knew how to draw them on. They didn't know how you could do perfect shapes like this. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.